first of all is the summer floods. Uh, well, it was quite unfortunate the summer floods. I know a lot of people were unfortunately hurt and uh, there were a lot of injuries as well. And uh, there's a lot of places that were damaged by the floods as well. Lots of properties and lots of uh, housing and land and farms and stuff. One place I want to point out is that that poor uh, flat in uh, North East England. The foundations were completely just washed away and that was just force of the water uh, just scraping through and it's such a shame and uh, sorry for anyone that was that lived in that flat I was involved or of course for the hard men that uh, laboured off all that foundation this is such a shame. Were you affected? Well if you were you can comment down there or let me know via email I really appreciate that and uh, if you were affected uh, just sorry about that and I, I hope you uh, you recorded from it now it was it was horrendous we had lots of floods in England we had some floods around here in Manchester and a great place to catch up on floods and stuff is just in the Environment Agency. Uh, you can see every, most rivers in the UK, most substantial rivers in the UK and you can just check out the levels and stuff, it's brilliant. I would recommend it for um, any time where, where there's floods and uh, it covers quite a lot of places as well and it, they're just brilliant, uh, the Environment Agency, um, on, they're on Facebook as well. And yeah, just to sum that all up, I'm sorry if you were affected by the summer floods, they were absolutely awful. Uh, now before I continue with the winter forecast, I'd just like to shout out to a couple of people, um, people because I'm doing a weather forecast and I know other two people that are interested in weather. Uh, that's Kieran uh, Pittard and uh, William Grimsley. I'm sure I know others, but I can't remember them. But that's the two the two ones that I subscribed to in the last couple of days, and uh, those are the ones that I remember. Uh, hi. And... Uh, um, yeah, just to continue with the uh, October for uh, the uh, winter forecast. I know winter forecast is quite a nifty subject as well. Um, <clears throat> climate change and all that. Do I agree with it? Do I not agree with it? Well, it's a bit, it's a lot. It's a big debatable topic. I'm not going to go into it too much, but it's there. I'm not going to co cause a big debate about whether it's true or not. So um, let's just get on with the winter forecast, shall we? As you know, October's all settled, and we did have floods uh, at the end of September. And uh, those particular floods were called by Hurricane Dean, and I'll explain more about that near to the end of the video. Yeah, so October is currently quite unsettled, and we are seeing some more areas of low pressure coming in, which is coming in this week, and today is the 10th of October, the upload date, and uh, it's co they're going to come in this week. And uh, yeah, some big gales across much of the UK, and uh, quite a lot of rain as well, especially across southern areas. We could reach um, gale force 8 to gale force 9, and uh, yeah, it's a brilliant thing to learn the uh, bow foot force. Uh, it's great for shippers, planes, anyone that hasn't got an anemometer and just wants to check out the wind. Uh, the better the anemometer is really, because you can just go out and say that's a force five and that's a force six. Um, the highest I've experienced, I think, is a force eleven on the coast of, on the coast of uh, Wales, and that was uh, you know Cape Curry, the weather station. You might know that it was just around there. Really strong winds. Uh, last September and November. Well, we could see snow, and I just mentioned snow for the first time in this video. It's really exciting. I love snow, but for those, uh, the problems are arising with difficulty getting to work today across the UK. Many people have died. It's BBC News. Sometimes I go on and on about snow, don't they? But I do like the forecast, uh, the uh, news reports are very detailed and very uh, good. <clears throat> I like BBC Weather as well. That's a good place to update on the weather. Quick weather update as well. And I'd recommend weatheraction.com for the other side of the climate change. Uh, climate realists as well. Uh, I'd recommend them for some uh, other opinions. Um, just to get going on the, no uh, the November forecast, I think the end of November will be quite wintry and unsettled. If you work out an area of low pressure, it goes like this in a clockwise... Yeah, I think that's the way you're viewing it, a clockwise See, this is Great Britain. You get an area of low pressure coming through. And then on the back end of that low pressure, just while it's left exit into, uh, into uh, Central Europe, you get a northerly flow. Now the northerly flows can create some uh, quite harsh conditions with rain and wind as the air is quite unstable. But another thing to mention is that the tr th they create troughs as well on the edge of low pressure themselves. Specifically when the back edge of that trough comes and there's cooler air introduced from the Arctic or somewhere like that. And when tem temperatures are 850 HPA, which is just a level in the atmosphere that you don't need to know where it is, it's about 5,000 feet. If temperatures there are at minus five or below, well, you could get some really bad snow there and snowy conditions, um, and that's when you're really in for snowfall.
When you get below minus 10 at 8, 50 HPA, well you're really in some, for some thick snow there, especially when you get the convection going. Now for the end of November, I don't think it's going to be any world level we had in Christmas 2009. I think it was like Jan February the 8th, 2008. That was a bad day as well. I don't think it's going to be anywhere near there at all, but I think we're just going to get wintry entertainment value snow. Uh, up to accumulations in settled snow, uh, I think that's going to be above 200 metres from the north of England and Scotland and Northern Ireland and above uh, 400 metres for the Midlands, Wales and uh, Southern England. And I think Snowdonia and the Pennines and the Scottish Mountains could get a good dose of snow through that time though and that's going to lead on to the beginning of December as well. As I said, not just uh, snow and hail with the low pressures, rain, lots of rain, wind and all sorts of rubbish going on around the atmosphere but I love it when you just sit there and listen to the rain and the hail it's nice when you're inside, when you're outside it's awful especially when you're cycling to school in the morning another thing to mention which is quite controversial is the Christmas forecast yeah the Christmas forecast is quite a controversial area well, well let's subscribe Christmas. and find out the next video for that one it's quite controversial and uh, I'd I think at the start of uh, through mid December we're going to get things settling down in an area of high pressure and that makes it cold. High pressure makes it warm in summer but cold in winter. If you get what I'm saying because of the because of the anatomy of the, the the temperature proliferation of the atmosphere and everything like that. Will it snow on Christmas day? You'll find out um later for more videos in the next video and I uh, hope you enjoy watching this video. This is Cat Amazing Well signing out.